Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today, the sun is shining. It's a little cooler today, but I'm still outside. There's some rain on the horizon, so I figured I'd get outside. And today is a perfect day to <laughs> do something with this. Dinos, the Brooklyn famous big dog, all American style. Now I'm American. I have never seen hot dogs in a jar. So <laughs> I, bought, I picked these up when we were in Scotland. So earlier this year, the family and I took a trip up to Scotland, beautiful country. We really enjoyed our time there. So when we were there, we went to the grocery store and I decided to uh, you know, look around and we saw a jar, actually several, different types of hot dogs in a jar so what we decided to do was buy it and then at the right time come home and make them but you know what i'm not going to disrespect the hot dogs i've never had hot dogs out the jar but i'm going to do i'm going to prepare these the way i would prepare hot dogs which means i'm going to throw them on the grill we're going to get these going and we're going to eat them and we're going to see how the hot dogs out of a jar taste i mean they've clearly been canned right you know i've canned things before i've talked about canning and so I understand how they've been prepared. They look like good hot dogs. So I'm reading a jar here and it says eight Beechwood smoked pork hot dogs in salted water. Oh yeah. So first thing I'm gonna do is fire up the grill. This is not an ad or anything for the grill, but it's one of the best grills that I've ever used in my entire life. Don't need a lot of charcoal. With, with a cook like this. You know, a lot of people like to, like to boil their hot dogs. They'll take them and they'll boil them. And some people I know who actually even fry their hot dogs. That's not gonna work. Gotta start it first. But I am a, a huge fan of grilled food. A huge fan of the Kamado Joe. And so if I get the opportunity, I'm not gonna boil them. I'm not gonna fry them. I'm gonna grill them up. I'm gonna prepare these hot dogs the best way I know how. It's gonna take a few minutes for the fire to get up to temperature. Now, if you are familiar with hot dogs out of a jar, drop that down in the comments below. Let me know, I'm American. I have never seen hot dogs in a jar. I can imagine that at some his point in history that hot dogs may have been prepared in a jar. When we get our hot dogs now, they come in a little plastic package. There is a little bit of liquid in there. So, I mean, this looks like a different type of version of the same type of preparation, just a little different, but I've never seen hot dogs in a jar. It says American style hot dogs in a jar, which is <laughs> the best way, I guess, to have your hot dogs in a jar. But like I said, we're gonna get the fire going. It's already lit. Gonna let those charcoals get going. And then we're gonna get those hot dogs out. I'm gonna rinse them off. I don't think I'm gonna soak them or anything. I'm just gonna rinse them off. And uh, once I get the fire going, throw them on the grill, grill them up. into a bowl. There we go. There's one. Alright, they're not gonna pour out. I've washed my hands. Let's get these hot dogs out of here. They smell like hot dogs. Just rinse those off. Put it full of water. Fire's looking good, just not up to temperature yet. Looks like it's gonna be a few more minutes. While I'm waiting on the grill to heat up, I talked to you for a couple minutes. I really enjoyed Scotland. It was one of the best trips, one of the best locations. We were in Edinburgh and we were in the Scottish Lowlands. We got close to the Scottish Highlands when we went over to Loch Lomond. And I have been told I'm not saying that correctly. Loch Lomond. I'm sorry, if I'm saying it wrong, guys, forgive me. It's not intentional. I'll go back and listen to some other people, how they pronounce it, trying to get it right. Either way, 
beautiful location. We went to Donata Castle. We went to Edinburgh Castle. Just if you ever get a chance to make it to Scotland, it's beautiful. We had a great time. We really enjoyed our time in Scotland. Uh, the kids liked it. <laughs> it's a lot of hills. I did a couple of videos about it. If you get a chance, go back and check those out. But while we were shopping, we did see these hot dogs. I wish we had a little more time. We look forward to going back. I want to get up to Glasgow. I want to get up to the Scottish Highlands, Isle of Skye. I would love to get to those places as well. So that's going to be in the next trip. But right now, I'm hoping that the grill is hot enough to go ahead and get these hot dogs on as I'm losing a lot of daylight out, daylight out here. Okay, let's go ahead and get the grill open here. Oh yeah, those coals look good. Just kind of spray that down with a little bit of olive oil just to uh, make sure nothing sticks. Again, not a chef, <laughs> just a guy who likes to grill. Those look good. But let's go ahead and get these, let's go ahead and get these on the grill. I'm losing a little bit of light here and I don't want to don't want it to get dark on me out here. Like I said, this is just the way that I feel as though I can best represent this product to cook it in a manner that I think is going to come out like really tasty. Okay. All right, let's close this up. Check on it in a couple minutes. Okay, I think this is it. Let's go ahead and get these off the grill. Hey, if you like this kind of content, if you like what we're doing here, please like this video, comment down below, tell us what you like about it, tell us what we can do that you would also like to see us do as we kind of continue forward our journey. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, these hot dogs look really good. I would never guess that they came out of a jar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we go. Got the hot dogs. I got some uh, soft Subway, white Subway rolls. That's what I'm gonna put these on. Listen, just so I can make sure, and this is Dino's famous hot dogs just to make sure I've given these hot dogs proper treatment you could put all kind of relish on your hot dogs all kind of condiments and seasonings flavors chilies you could do a lot and I love to do those type of things but for the taste test it's gonna be on a subway roll hot dog with just a little bit of mustard You know what? I'm gonna call in a taste tester. All right, I need you to give it a taste test. Let's go with the first, I'll let you do the first bite. Okay, that one? Yeah. A lot of chewing, no talking. What, how, what are your thoughts? I think it tastes pretty good. It tastes like a hot dog. Can you tell it came out of a jar? No. No, you can't. All right, go ahead, yeah. What do you think? How it tastes? It's good? Yes, sir. All right, kids are inside, and so I'm gonna step back outside so I can enjoy this.
that's that's really good <laughs> I'll admit I was a little skeptical of a hot dog that came out of a out of a jar but that's a really good hot dog nice flavor uh, the casing is a little thinner than what I'm familiar with but that is On my next trip to Scotland, I'm going to pick up a few more jars of hot dogs. <laughs> so, yeah guys, that's it. I'm going to go in, we're going to finish preparing these for the kids. If I love it this much, Blair liked it, the kids are going to love it. I may do some chili, it doesn't need it, but I still may do a little bit of chili. Until the next time, do take care. Oh, I'm sorry guys. It's over. Like and subscribe. It's over. I'm I'm just, I'm just going to finish the hot dog. <laughs>